got a package in the mail. As you guys can see, this is the company that reached out to me a couple weeks ago. They basically told me, hey, we got a cooler that's coming out. We got some really interesting products. We'd love to send you some. Open them up on video, test them out. Tell people if you like them, tell people if you hate them. Honest review, so I was like, yes, love it. I love coolers. Really excited to get in the unboxing. Let's get something to crack this box open, yo. Woo! All right, so I don't got any, I don't got any fancy knives, so I'm gonna use a good old steak knife to get this package on and cranked up open. Well, all right, there we go. Almost got it. Whoa, let's not cut ourselves here. Woo! Man, I am super, super pumped. Let's see what's inside of this box. Oh yeah. Oh my God. So like I said, guys, this cooler looks incredible. Initial thoughts are, feels great. I'm taking a look at the zipper, the carry handle on it. What do you think, Skyler? It looks pretty good. The box looks great, that's for sure. Has these handles on the two sides. So initial thoughts here, the cooler looks great. I love the branding. I love how they have their logo, their name popping right on the lid of the box. As you guys can see, that looks incredible. Really, really digging the overall look. I love the color on the cooler. I love this, uh, this really light silvery gray look. Looks incredible. So a couple interesting details. It does have some hangers here where you can probably put a shoulder strap. There might be a shoulder strap inside. We're gonna pop it open. You got this carry handle up top right here. Pretty decent length. If you're walking around in the pier, walking to the beach, seems pretty easy. It's pretty lightweight is one thing that I can tell you. It's definitely easy to maneuver. The finish on it feels really good. It almost feels like it's waterproof. Now this is a cooler that is brand new to the market. It isn't a cooler that's been around for a long time. This company right here, Torrit, they actually been specializing in cooler backpacks, camping backpacks, hiking backpacks, and all that stuff. I actually was checking out their site. I'm gonna link it down below in the description box, just in case you guys find this to be interesting and you wanna check it out for yourself. I believe this cooler is gonna drop February 24th for sale, so make sure you guys check it out if you do like this video and you wanna test it out for yourself. We're looking at the cooler here. Overall finish is really good. In the front of the cooler, you got a nice little tight, tight pocket right there. No zipper there, but it is pretty tight. I would say that's a good spot to maybe keep your wallet, your license, your IDs. Maybe if you don't have your wallet with you and you wanna store some things there, that seems like a pretty interesting spot. Now, if you guys are noticing already on the rear side of the back, you're gonna have this rubber mesh pocket as well. This is see-through, so if you wanna have something in the back, like maybe put your name on it with a paper or something, just so you know whose cooler is who, it does have this. Seems like a really good quality material overall, just from looking at it. And that's like a little extra storage space that you have. So overall, so far, I am digging the cooler. That's the bottom of the cooler right there. I like how they've done that with their name. They're, they're really trying to put their name into the cooler. I like how it's on the top, it's on the bottom. It seems like a really well planned out box, really well designed, I'm really digging the look. Overall, it looks very functional, but the very important thing with any cooler is how well does it keep ice in the heat? And you guys know, we live here in South Florida, we have extreme heat, the winter's pretty much coming past us, so I think it's a great time to fill this bad boy up with some ice and do an ice challenge. So what I wanna do is I wanna do a three day ice challenge, test out the turret, wrap it all up with telling you what I think about this cooler overall because the big thing is, before I tell you to go out and buy this thing, I wanna make sure that it works. I wanna make sure that when I fill this up and I put some cans in it, put some beers, put some drinks, some energy drinks, whatever I decide to put in here, it is very important for me and for you that this thing could keep ice for at least 24 hours, you know? Anything less than that, I almost feel like it's a total fail, so we will find out soon. We are not jumping into any conclusions just yet. Let's go ahead and open up the cooler. Really quick before we open it up, just wanted to show you the handle on the zipper. Pretty cool, with the Torrit logo on it as well. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy unzipped for the very first time. Bam. Really cool, as you guys can see, it has the deep blue insulation. Now, it looks like it's about two inches thick, maybe an inch and a half thick foam insulation. Try to get you guys a peek right there. Boom, smells brand new right out of the factory. Looks really good. 
Looks like it would be waterproof. I also want to test out how well it is from leaking. You know, one of the big things about these coolers here, especially with the Ozark, I think that they fixed it with the newer generation models, but these zippers with the Ozark trail coolers, they actually used to leak a lot of water. So that was one of the bad things. Now water is really good to work with the ice because it keeps the chill factor you know, in place. It keeps the ice, it keeps the water, keeps the drinks, everything inside really cold when you have that combination of the two. So it's really good to have a cooler that doesn't leak water. So we're gonna test that as well in this video, see how well it handles water coming outside of the cooler. Inside's gonna have your warranty and manual information and it's also gonna have the shoulder strap, which actually looks very nice. I really like how they finished it again. They're, these guys, the details when it comes to Finishing out the look is really cool. I like this personally. Like, you know, when you spend a lot of money on a cooler, especially if it's like a, na a name brand, you kind of want, you know, that show off factor, that factor that shows like, hey, this is the brand that I got, you know? And one of those, that was actually one of my biggest beefs with the Ozark Trail. It was really plain Jane, you know, maybe had one little, you know, Ozark Trail logo on the front and that was it. There was nothing else going on. Like the Yetis, they got it stamped in just like this, stamped on the top, stamped all around. So I really like that tore it continued the overall look right there with Logaline, the shoulder strap. It really just completes the look. It's all about completing the look. Somebody's going out, they're spending a lot of money on these coolers, these brand name coolers. Obviously functionality is the most important thing, but it's also very important that when you're investing your money into a company that they're taking care of you and they're giving you the absolute best product overall. And so far, I gotta tell you guys, these guys are hitting every nail in place. Everything is coming out great. Everything that I would look for that I've ever complained about, like the Walmart coolers, these guys are hitting it right on the mark. They're getting it done just right. The insulation inside looks pretty good. Taking a look at the seams inside, everything looks pretty nice inside. I don't see any way that it would leak. Everything is nice and ovaled off inside. I think it'd be great for keeping a couple drinks. Now, this cooler is rated for 30 cans. So I'm guessing that's probably either 30 beer cans or 30 uh, soda cans. I'll maybe look into that a little bit more to see, but Overall, I think you could pack plenty of things for a day or two trip, you know, camping trip or going out fishing, whatever the case may be. Now, another feature that I would say that this cooler might work really well for, a lot of you guys that like to keep live bait, you guys know shrimp, shad, shiners, they're, they're really like intolerant to heat. I think with these insulated soft pack coolers, I think it's a great option for keeping your live bait. If it's perfectly waterproof, that is. If it's perfectly waterproof, this insulation is gonna keep the water cool that you put into the, into the box itself and keep your bait fresh so that's something that maybe i would suggest for any of you guys who are looking into possibly buying a cooler as an option for storing your live bait if your boat doesn't have an option so that's another point that i would drop in this is a really good uh live bait tank if you wanted to try that out for that and then last but not least there's like the notes and warranty information on the cooler all of that's uh brought in a little ziploc bag and let's see what it says real quick there's like a little uh, chapstick looking bottle. It looks like this is for your zipper to keep it like nice and prime. So I'm gonna take a look at that real quick. Note, Torret airtight zipper need to be lubricated from time to time. They send you this little packet right here. Basically what you do is you're gonna drop it directly to the zipper head and then run it back and forth, back and forth. They suggest you put this about two to three times to make sure you properly lubricate the zipper. I'm not sure if the other coolers bring this, but that's pretty cool of them. Usually they don't bring that kind of stuff. So the fact that they're including that to make sure that they take care of the product that they're selling you, that's a that's a big selling point. Yeah, man, overall, I'm pretty stoked for this cooler. Gonna get it tested out. You guys are gonna see me take it outside, fill it up with ice and start the ice challenge. We're gonna go ahead and pour some fresh ice in there. Some ready ice, we're gonna put some drinks inside. We're gonna get this challenge started. So we're gonna test this cooler out. We're gonna see how, like I said earlier in the video, we're gonna test out if it leaks, how well it holds ice, because this cooler from what I can tell from the, the writing that it includes is, it hasn't been totally tested. They're not stating how long it holds ice for. So it's a great opportunity for us as the viewers, as the testers to go ahead and help out tour it with uh, testing out this product in everyday conditions. It's getting a lot more humid here in South Florida. We got a lot of rain coming in. So I think it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna really put this cooler to the test and get some water inside. Now I'm testing out this cooler without previously chilling it. Most cooler manufacturers recommend you pre-chill the cooler. Got some water bottles and a nice monster I just picked up at the store.
we're pretty much topped off. I'm pretty happy with the amount of ice that's in there. As you guys can see, it's pretty filled up. Today's forecast is partly cloudy skies with about a 50% chance of rain throughout the whole entire day. And we also have temperatures in the 80 to 85 degree category. So it is warm. It's very humid. Those are all temperatures that definitely affect ice, how you keep ice. We will actually really be able to test out how good this cooler is if we keep having weather like this. So I filled up the cooler today. 20 pounds of ice filled it up. We got five bottles of water inside and one can of Monster. We're gonna see how well it keeps those things cold. All right, you guys, we are back. Today is day two of the ice challenge. We got the Toric cooler down below. We're gonna open it up for the about the second or third time. First time today, though, that we're gonna open it up, see how much ice is remaining, see how the drinks feel that are left inside. And a uh, quick little update on today's weather. Partly cloudy sky. Temperatures are up in 85 degree category range and humidity is up 74%. Relative humidity, 74%. So it's still pretty warm. It's actually a little windy today, but to give you guys an idea, last night and all of yesterday, this the cooler spent the whole entire day inside of the hot car. Wherever I went in the car, the cooler stayed inside of the hot car, no AC running, so it makes it even hotter than it is outside. Now, I did some research this morning just to see maybe what a comparable cooler is supposed to hold something like this in the market. So the Walmart Ozark Trail cooler says it could hold up ice up to two days, up to two days. So not officially two days, but up to two days. So I'm excited to see how the ice is doing inside of the Torrey cooler. Let's go check it out. Moment of truth. Bam, guys, look at that. We actually got quite a bit of ice remaining in there. It's actually pretty packed. So that's pretty awesome. A full 24 hours down, and we still have quite a bit of ice remaining. The drinks look very cold in there. They've been sitting in there for the 24 hours. I actually had one of the waters yesterday while I was out. That's why I said I did open the cooler up a few times yesterday um, to get drinks and just to see how it's going. I'm gonna actually pull out one of these monsters, see how cold it is, see the ch overall chill factor. So, so far it's been pretty fun filming this little challenge video. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, leave comments down below. Tell me what you guys think, what you guys think about the cooler. Keep in mind, this is almost like a prototype cooler. It's not on the market yet. It's coming out February 24th, so stay tuned for that. Definitely gonna be worth checking it out. So far, I'm really digging the cooler. One thing that I wanna test out right now while we're outside in the patio, I'm gonna re-zip it, close it up, and let's see if it leaks, because there's a little bit of water in there, so I think it's a good time to test that out. That's cold. That's really cold. A plus score for keeping your drinks cold, I'll tell you that. All right, let's go ahead, let's zip this bad boy up. Let's see if it leaks. So right now what I'm doing is I'm letting it sit on top of the zip on top of the zipper with the ice and the water flowing forward to allow all that pressure to sit on top of the zipper to see if with that that weight the weight of the water if it slips through. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds and then lift. There it is. Completely dry. No leaks. That is pretty awesome. 48 hour update time. Let's go ahead and pop this cooler open and see how it's doing for 48 hours, two full days of ice being kept inside. Got our cooler sitting right here inside of the living room. Had to come inside because it is a little wet out today. It's actually been raining quite a bit, rained all last night. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Bam, you guys, take a look at that. We definitely have a nice ice cold slush effect. Drinks are freezing cold. Big thumbs up to the guys at Torrit for hooking it up with this cooler, letting me test it out, and literally show you guys how well it can do in the elements, 
see how well it can hold ice and do its thing what it's meant to be doing. They, they aren't paying for me to tell you this cooler is great. As you guys can see, we're putting it to the test. We put ice in it, we put drinks in it, we're testing it in the heat. I don't have it in, a, in an AC'd you know, refrigerator trying to keep it cold. No, this thing is performing, guys. This thing's performing great. And uh, it's gonna be coming out in the next few days. Probably by the time this video drops, it'll be officially out. Good morning, you guys. It is time for the 72 hour update on the Torrent cooler. Now, we're gonna wrap things up today. Even if there's still ice remaining in the cooler, which I do not know, I have not peeked inside just yet. We're gonna go ahead and pop it open. Let's get right into it. We're gonna go over the weather conditions we're having today, as of today, 72 hours into the challenge, and what our overall thoughts are about the cooler. Let's go and dive right into it. All right, so let's get it unzipped. I have a feeling that the ice has come and passed. I have a feeling it's all melted already, 72 hours in. I don't expect there to be any ice remaining inside of the cooler it's been quite a while these coolers don't usually hold ice that long there's actually still some ice in there i don't know if you guys can see i'm going to try to grab some and show it to you wow this water is still freezing cold look at that there's not a ton of ice guys but that is still ice at 72 hours a little bit of ice cubes still left throughout as you guys can see the water is still absolutely freezing in here. Today's temperature readings were 80 degrees Fahrenheit and relative humidity was at 75%. So overall, I gotta say guys, I am really impressed with the cooler. Really enjoyed doing the ice challenge. I think that really added a different dynamic to the video other than just opening it, looking at it, putting some drinks in it and maybe using it for a day. I think that by testing it out, seeing how many days it could actually hold ice for, it's actually really good for, for you guys to actually see if it's a cooler worth investing in. This is a prototype cooler. It's actually gonna be coming out in the next few days, so I'll be excited to see what they're gonna price this at. My guess, if I were to put a price, I would range it at anywhere from 70 to $150, somewhere in that range just from seeing what the competitors charge for a cooler of a similar size and dimension. I definitely think it's worth all of that. I really like all the finishing touches on it like I mentioned earlier. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned all of the finishing, the way that they put the logo throughout the cooler. I think it's all really well done, really well thought out. I, I didn't really find many things to really say that were bad about it. I really like the overall appearance on it. I love the fact that it keeps ice for 72 hours. I think that's incredible. I also really like the fact that it doesn't leak water. I think that's really good because if you're gonna keep it in your car and it turns over, you don't want that to be spilling water in your car and maybe leading to mold in the future. That was a really big uh, thing that I wanted to see if this, if it happened with this cooler because these coolers, these soft pack coolers are kind of notorious for leaking water. So I'm really happy to say that this cooler did not leak on me in the 72 hours that we tested it. Kept the drinks exceptionally cold. 24 hours in, I drank the Monster, it was freezing cold. 48 hours, I actually drank a water after I had gotten out of the gym, extremely cold. And today I put my hand in there, we still found some remnants of ice. The water was freezing, so if we were to have drank any drinks out of there, I know they would have been you know, pristine, very nice, and really chilly. So overall guys, I don't wanna extend the video any longer. It's been pretty long as it is, I'm pretty sure. I wanna send a big thank you to my friends over at Torrent for sending me this cooler for me to test out and allowing me to make this, this video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you to them for sending it to me. I really appreciate it. I love testing out new products. It's something that I really enjoy doing. I like to see what a product is made out of and how well it can uh, fare to what it's supposed to be doing. So I hope I covered all the points and all the features you guys would be interested in finding out about a new cooler if you're looking into getting a new cooler. I hope I covered everything that you guys were hoping to find out about. Again, I am gonna link Tori up in the description box. They actually sent me a link where you can pick this cooler up and get 10% off your first order. So if you guys are interested in this cooler, take a look at the link below. They set up a special link for us here at Bite the Bay Fishing where we can save you guys, my viewers, 10% off. So if you're interested in the cooler, go ahead and check the description box. Click the link, it'll take you to their website and it's up to you if you guys wanna buy it. Again, I don't even know what they're gonna price this at. But what I can tell you is I've enjoyed using it for the 72 hours that I've had it. I think the cooler works exceptionally well and I'm gonna to continue to use it from here on out. I think that's gonna be it, guys. I really don't have anything else to really say about the cooler. Really liked it, two thumbs up on it. Gonna keep using it. I recommend you guys check it out if you're looking for a cooler. It might be something that's in your price point and maybe something that's worth looking at that's a little bit different. So yeah, that's gonna finish it off for today. Like I always say, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you guys get notified whenever we drop a new video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.